Adaptive Cruise Control combines the benefits of cruise control with braking and monitoring technologies for a more convenient and safe drive. It provides automatic regulation of the vehicle's speed and a safe following distance to a detected lead car, i.e. the car in front. When there is no lead vehicle detected, the Subaru vehicle will drive constantly at the set speed between approximately 40 km per hour and 145 km per hour. When following a detected lead vehicle, the EyeSight system is generally capable of accelerating and braking from the set to the zero speed in order to keep in line with the traffic flow. Adaptive Cruise Control not only maintains the vehicle speed set by the driver, but also can recognise a lead vehicle and track that vehicle in order to maintain a safe separating distance, as selected by the driver. From the switch on the steering wheel, the driver can select three different distances based on time and speed. Horizontal bars on the instrument display represent these time distance separation options informing the driver of the current setting. One bar represents approximately 1.1 seconds travel time to the rear of the lead vehicle, two bars 1.6 seconds and three bars 2 seconds. Adaptive cruise control can be set at any speed greater than 40 km per hour up to 145 km per hour, providing all doors are closed, driver's seatbelt is on, gear select lever is in drive, and VDC has not been turned off. Once set, the set speed can be controlled from zero to 160 km per hour. During operation, the driver can also toggle to vary the set speed, up or down in five km per hour intervals, by momentarily operating the resume set switch or by pressing and holding the switch to increase or decrease the speed by one kilometer per hour intervals. The selected set speed is displayed on the instrument display. The system is designed to constantly monitor a detected lead vehicle and to adaptively control the vehicle speed so as to track it in both acceleration and braking, provided the lead vehicle is not traveling at a speed in excess of the set speed. The system lets the driver know if it has detected a lead vehicle by illuminating the vehicle icon on the instrument panel and sounding one short beep. Generally, the system is able to follow a detected lead vehicle automatically speeding up and slowing down at approximately the same rate as the detected lead vehicle. This ability includes coming to a complete stop behind a detected lead vehicle and then resuming after a stop of less than two minutes merely by touching the resume switch or throttle. This is a significant driver support function. After the vehicle is stopped for more than two minutes or when on a hill of more than 5% slope, adaptive cruise control cancels and the electric park brake is automatically engaged. The driver then needs to merely depress the throttle to automatically disengage the electric park brake and accelerate up to greater than 40 km per hour to be able to again set or resume adaptive cruise control. The use of stereo cameras has enabled the system to considerably raise the threshold level of automatic braking so it can cope even when the lead car decelerates. If the lead car brakes very hard however, and the system detects that auto braking is insufficient to slow the vehicle, a warning is sounded and flashing message displayed to prompt the driver to brake harder. Normal, non-adaptive cruise control can also be activated by pressing and holding the distance setting switch for two seconds or longer. Adaptive cruise control is the default mode, so whenever the ignition is turned off and on again, it is pre-selected. Adaptive cruise control is not intended to assist in driving when the driver is not fully paying attention to what's ahead or due to distractions or a lack of concentration. Drivers remain responsible for the safe operation of the vehicle, including maintaining safe following distances from the vehicles and objects ahead and operating the brake pedal if need be. Adaptive cruise control is not intended to provide the driver with an automatic driving function that handles all traffic conditions. Adaptive cruise control is intended for use on highways, freeways and motorways and should not be used in city traffic, low visibility conditions such as heavy fog or rain, on wet or slippery roads, on roads with sharp winding bends, or on roads with repeated steep inclines and declines, amongst other conditions. 
relying on the adaptive cruise control system whilst driving in these conditions may lead to an accident. Whilst the EyeSight system incorporates a function to automatically warn when the front of the stereo cameras are dirty, this warning system is not 100% accurate. In some circumstances, the warning will not sound even though the view of the cameras may be impeded. In a worst case scenario, this may even cause the system to maintain incorrect following distances. Adaptive cruise control should not be used if this is the case. It is always the driver's responsibility to remain vigilant of the prevailing driving conditions, the status of the EyeSight system and each of its elements, i.e. on or off, and to comply with the relevant road rules including posted speed limits.